Well, as COVID-19 cases rise across the U.S., so does the need for convalescent plasma. In some cases, has actually helped patients fight off the deadly virus. When people recover from an infectious disease, they often have antibodies in their blood that can kill the micro. Plasma is the liquid part of the blood and that contains the antibodies. This plasma can be transferred to a patient and these antibodies can then work by killing the virus. Over the past 10 months, a lot of evidence have accumulated that plasma is effective if given early in the course of hospitalization. this huge study. It was done over many months. The information that emerged is that patients who receive plasma with a high amount of antibody early in the course of hospitalization who had a lower mortality than those who received plasma with low amounts of antibody late in hospitalization. What this study does is it reinforced the continued use of plasma. One question that comes up is, how is plasma different than vaccine? When you get a vaccine, you make your own antibody. When you get plasma, you're getting antibodies that were made by somebody else. So the only patients who could receive it are those that are sufficiently ill to be admitted to the hospital. Going forward, I think plasma will continue to have a role. This is a therapy that is made in people. And patients rely on donations. So my message is, if you have had COVID, please consider donating because your plasma could help others.